Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. And if you were with me last week, you'd know that I picked Zoe Kiss's idea out of the fishbowl and it was for a Walking Dead coaster. So I did the Walking Dead, but I also did two other horror villains from the past and like classic ones. And then I also did a Blood Spatter coaster. Stick around to the end and I'll pick next week's idea out of the fishbowl. So we're working on the Scary Creepy Coasters this week and I wanted to take it to another level and we're going to be using the transparency film but we're going to try to do layers. So I'm going to have Nosferatu which is a very old vampire movie, a classic from the 20s. Um, I had to watch it in my German class in high school and I am going to do Mike Myers from Halloween and then we're going to do Walking Dead, a zombie Walking Dead. So I have some blood spatter. I've got the house from Halloween. Um, I have this fiery red moon with trees and then just like creepy trees in the background. So I'm gonna cut all these out with my circle cutter. I've mixed three ounces of the Easy Cast resin and I need one ounce for each coaster base. And I gave some thought to the color background that I want to bring out the color and for one I'm going to do a white background. And I'm going to use the white pigment. So I'll add some. So here's the white. So for the, the red tree background I decided yellow would be a good background. I'm going to do the India ink. You could do the pigment dye on this also. So I'll add some onto my stir stick and stir it in. See how it looks. So I'll pour that in. That's not really solid solid, but it's okay. And the last one I'm going to use like a silvery gray pigment powder. Okay, and I'll pour that right in. So I accidentally got a little pigment powder in here, so I'm just going to stir it in. I don't think it'll make any difference. Now I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to hit all of these pop the bubbles and then after 12 hours I will come back and do the next layer. I've prepared three more ounces of resin. I actually did four because the blood spatter that I originally printed out um, was too big for what I was thinking of doing so I thought I would just do um, a real good old-fashioned blood spatter coaster and for that I just have an ounce. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the white pigment in, stir it around and then pour that into of the cavities for a coaster. And you let that sit after you pop the bubbles just like we do otherwise but now let's get on to the other ones. The first one I'm going to start with is the white one and that's going to be the Halloween one with Mike Myers. So what I have is a little blood spatter here. I cut it off here just because I got a little too close to the image underneath so I had to cut it off like that. I don't think it'll make any difference. Now I'm popping these bubbles real quick and I'm going to slide this in. This is we always do. Press any bubbles out from underneath and pop the bubbles again. Then I'm going to take the Halloween house and slide that right in. And I'm sliding that over those bloody spatters and prints. So press it down, get all the bubbles out, make sure everything is covered. Then hit it with your lighter. Now I'm going to move on to the next one. Alright, the next one is this yellow one. And the yellow one is going to be um, the Nosferatu one. Now the last one is this one, which I think actually turned out pretty cool. I wasn't sure, but I think it's going to actually enhance the photo. All of these are going to sit again for roughly 12 hours before I come back. And then we have one more layer to do. So one concern I'm having is like the border because the images don't go all the way to the end. So all I'm going to do is take a little bit of black acrylic paint and I'm just going to go around it and it's almost like just making a little border for the, for the image. And I'll do that around all of them. I'm just going with black. I have my images and now I need to put a solid background behind like the Walking Dead characters and Michael Meyer, 
Meyer or Myers and Nosferatu. So otherwise the images will blend into the background and we don't want that. So the blood spatter I'm not going to worry about and they I don't want to go bright white on them so I'm going to mix a little bit of white and a little bit of gray. This is just acrylic paint and I think I'll do the same color for um, Michael Myers. It'll probably take two coats and then you just need to let it dry. It's time for the last layer and I have four ounces of resin again and I'm going to pour about an ounce into each. We're going to start with Michael Myers. First I'm going to quick pop these bubbles and I'm going to slide him right in here and I kind of had him off to the side so that you would still get the benefit of the house, the blood spattered house. Okay, then I'll take my stir stick, press it down, make sure I get all the bubbles out from underneath, make sure he's positioned as I want him to be. Okay, then I'm going to move on to Nosferatu. Here he is. I'm going to slide him in. Oh. Maybe I should put some resin in first. And another ounce of resin. Pop those bubbles. Add Nosferatu in here. Squish him down. And then I'm going to do my Walking Dead people. And then we have our standard run-of-the-mill blood, spa blood splatter. Spatter. Splatter? Spatter. Put in the blood spatter. Squish it down. Okay, then just pop all the bubbles on all of them again. Make sure you don't have any bubbles stuck underneath. Let them sit a minimum of 12 hours, and then we will come back and unmold them. Okay, it's time to do some unmolding. We're going to start with the blood spatter. And there it is, very simple. And we're going to go old and new. We got Nosferatu here, or Nosferatu. So here he is with that red background. And, and I like how this all kind of creates a 3D look. And I want to know which one you think is the best once you see them all. There's Michael Myers with the house in the background. So there's The Walking Dead. Now I did get some teeny tiny bubbles in here for some reason. I don't know why I have some over here. Okay, you guys ready? It's Creative Me Minecraft. So be sure to tune in next week and I'm gonna be making um, a Minecraft coaster, see what I come up with. I need to learn a little bit about that now. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and if you have an idea that you wanna have included in the fishbowl for next week, be sure to leave it in the comments of the most recent coaster video. And we will see you next time. So in the meantime, stay safe, happy crafting.